What's going on guys? Zenos here and today in this video of Calibria Crystal Guardians I am presenting to you guys a guide on Arcanist She is a 5 star nat hero unit and definitely our S tier worthy character because she can deal amazing amount of damage being an attack unit and damn oh damn her attack stats is just too awesome uh, so far, she had been known as a hidden character because obviously her detail was not available in the archives. But now she is actually showing up in the archives. That means obviously I will be reworking on my uh, five star net hero tier list again, maybe by tomorrow. <laughs> let's see about that one. So, right over here, let's start her discussion. All right, Arcanist. Oh my, a very amazing hero unit of Calibria Crystal Guardians guys look at it her attack is 1426 wow it's very near to like or nearly same as that of Jews himself it's like one of the really highest attacks stat out there and even her speed stat is pretty good not really that bad wow attack just look at that and see the attack unit damn oh damn she can deal a lot of damage I think she can go par on par or and depending upon the situation, she might even like out plus juice in terms of damage. Now let's start with her skill tree. That's how good Arcanist really is. Just look at the faster skill and you will start to know like her every skill is pretty awesome. Arcane bullet, it says fire two arcane bullets to attack an enemy. Each attack deals 200% of attacking damage. That means a total F. 400% of attacking damage if attack deals critical damage what's gonna happen is that like there's gonna be a 30% I mean like 100% chance to reduce the enemy's attack and poison them for two turns in succession amazing just with her basic skill she can reduce the enemy's attack which is gonna be pretty awesome especially for the battles against the dungeon bosses or any sort of units that can deal a massive amount of damage against you that can be a very big problem this is totally good a 100 percent chance and also to poison them wow she is definitely an ultimatum for you know the dungeon bosses all right poison is always going to be good and for two turns really good you can easily counter i'm mean, like you easily equip her with the counter rooms and she will be backing up with a lot of poison dots on the opponents especially that dungeon bosses this is just too awesome i like it now let's move on to the second skill that is arcane shock attack enemies with arcane power four times at random for its negative status effect on an enemy attacks an additional time up to four more times wow if they have like four negative status effects that means like four more times he's actually gonna hit and enemies without buffs are targeted first each attack deals 155 percent of attack and damage wow if you just like add it up that's like eight hits eight times 155 that's like more than 1000 wow that's more than 1000 that's a lot of attacking damage guys and it's like an AOE attack this is too good I'm mean, like wow that's a lot that's a lot I'm mean, like just imagine a situation where you are fighting against a single target opponent and somehow you manage to put a lot of debuffs on him or negative status effects on him uh, by just looking just look at it here I'm mean, like just with her faster skill she can already inflict two negative status effect right away I'm like, it's gonna be so easy with her being around that she will be really inflicting a lot of negative status effect and obviously she will be uh, magnifying her damage output with those kind of uh, criteria. Now let's move on to the version 2. Well, looking into its cooldown, it has about 3 turns of cooldown, which is good, really good. So version 2 is known as the Arcane Blast of the second skill. Attack enemies with Arcane Lightning four times at random add an additional bolt for each of the enemy's buffs the first version is actually for every negative stat effect or let's say debuff on the opponent and the next one is for every buff that is present on the opponent all right so there's a difference and it is actually gonna also hit like eight times its bolt deals 80 percent of attack and damage and an 80 percent or let's say 100 percent chance to convert enemy's buff to poison wow wow this is like what oh my 
a 100% chance to convert the enemy's buffs to poison. Like, damn. Damn, oh damn. Wow. Wow. I mean, like, he is at least going... I mean, like, she is at least going to hit them, like, for four turns. And this is going to be a chance to convert all of the buff into, like, you know, like, uh, this poison. Uh, negative status effect. And more the buff they have, the more damage she's, uh, she's going to deal. And the more poison uh, debuff is going to be landing on them. That means, like, your catacombs dungeon fights are gonna be so easy and fast with arcanist being around this is really that good this is really meant for the pve content this is too good and as it's an aoe attack as well this is also really meant for the pvp or arena content as well this can actually really provide a lot of damage output boost i'm like more thousand more than one thousand percentage of attack and damage Holy crap, I'm like, she can't really deal a massive amount of damage, guys. Don't really play with her. I'm like, I'm like, don't really like joke with her, okay? Just don't ridicule her. She's just really that great. That's what I meant to say, all right? <laughs> wow, she's just too good, guys. She is really that good. Wow, turning all the buff into poison for two turns? Jesus. Now let's move on to the next one. That is passive, Magic Pierce. This one is totally good. When attacking, uh, when attack enemies with negative status effects. So right over here, I mean, like she has been able to like inflict a lot of uh, negative status effect from the first, and maybe also like you know with the second skill as well. And if uh, there are like negative status effects on the opponents, there is a 100% chance to increase the damage by 20%. She's actually deal, she's actually gonna deal even more damage with her third skill. That's a passive. That's so good. And the second version is also a passive that is the Arcane Mastery. Gain immunity against action lock effects and there's gonna be a 50% chance to ignore enemies resistance. Wow, ignore enemies resistance. Do you know like after she actually get this one, how easy it will be to land her poison dots on the opponents? Wow, this is gonna be so good. 50% chance to ignore enemies resistance guys. I mean like they will have no choice but to just accept all those poison dots from the arcanist. This is just insane. Wow. 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 Oh my god. No, that's 60% chance guys. 60% chance. Wow, I actually like got a wrong mathematics right out there. 60% chance is pretty good to ignore the enemy's resistance. Holy, holy, holy! The next one is Diffuse. Spread the target's negative status effects to all enemies and immediately gain another attack turn. Like, what? Yeah! Yeah, guys, yeah! I mean, like, if you just manage to, like, uh, you know, land a lot of, like, poison dots on a single target enemy, then you can just uh, diffuse, meaning, like, you can just copy that certain uh, debuffs i'm mean, like all those debuffs and then just paste it on like other units other opponent units all right so that is good but uh it might not be really that super duper effective as we are actually thinking because it will really take some time this is actually a sort of like stuff that you are supposed to see in a long-term battle all right and uh, you really need to be able to actually cast all those negative status effects on the first place before you actually uh, use this diffuse skill, all right? So, oh well. Mm. The next thing is that like it really doesn't increase the damage dealt on the main character. I mean, like you might want to really, uh, you know, like sort of like um, use it on the main boss, but the main boss is gonna still have the same damage output with this diffuse. So I'm not really that much of a big fan of diffuse unless you are using in the uh, arena content like there might be certain negative status effects like not just only dots but also death break uh, slow uh, attack break or something like that and you might can I'm mean, like you can just transfer that certain uh, debuff to all the other uh, opponents so that is gonna be so great guys this is gonna be so good amazing indeed i like it i like it and it only has a four turn of cooldown a four turn cooldown so now let's move on to the final leader skill that's going to be all allied heroes crit rate plus 24 percent wow 
that's actually a lot of percentage, guys. All allied heroes crit rate plus 25% in all reasons. Jesus Christ, she is too good. If you guys have been quite, uh, you know, like very lucky to pull this unit out, congratulations. She is really great. She is really great. Definitely a S tier unit. Uh, definitely a S tier unit, guys. Definitely a S tier unit. Unit. I'm like just because of a base stat. Just look at it. 1426 attack stat. This alone can actually make her very unique and provided that her skills are pretty much like supporting her attack stats, meaning like they also really are trying to really deal a massive amount of damage to the opponents. This is just too good. And so many poison dots. Oh my god. I mean like damn, oh damn. If you really want to wrap up the battle at the end of the arena content, she can be a definitely a very good candidate because she has an AOA attack on the second skill. Uh, and if you really want to become a PvE content type of uh, unit, then obviously she can do that as well with her poison dots. That's so versatile. This is a very versatile unit indeed. Oh my god. Oh my. And she has a very versatile uh, leader skill as well. Very impressive. Very impressive. I like this unit. I really like this unit. Now let's move on to like what sort of runes should we really give to this amazing unit. There are a varieties of runes that you can actually give this uh, unit. This is so good, guys. First of all, the attack set. Uh, four pieces, attack plus 35%, obviously gives her a lot more damage output. And six pieces will provide her a ignore 15% of the enemy's defense, obviously increasing her damage output. So this is pretty great. Attack set is pretty much a very ba like basic. And if you are a beginner, you can really start with your attack set. And uh, she can really deal a lot of damage, guys. A lot of damage. The next one is going to be the Agile uh, Rune. Uh, especially for the arena contents, where the speed uh, stat really does matter a lot. Four pieces provides like 25% of boost in speed. So that's really great, isn't it? And with the six pieces, saves 15% of energy at the end of the turn. Meaning like she will be getting her next turn pretty fast with the Agile Rune being equipped on her. Pretty much simple and straightforward, isn't it? Uh, really great for like arena content because like she has an AOE skill as well and if she can actually cast her AOE skill right off the bat then that would be really good but it, it's better uh, to you know, like cast her skill after a certain ally that can really deal a massive sort of like debuff on the opponents and after that she can proceed like let's say vampire first goes the vampire and then goes our, uh, you know, the Arcanist. Or let's say first goes the Popo. And then goes our Arcanist. That could be possible. That could be possible, guys. And now let's move on to the next one. That is going to be the Destruction. This is also really great. Four pieces provides like 40% of critical damage. And six pieces will provide an additional 15% of attack boost. That is really great. A lot of damage output that you can expect from here. And it can really put a lot of uh, like a big smile on your face. <laughs> Destruction set is pretty awesome for her as well. If you really want to uh, you know, like focus on her massive damage output. All right. I mean, like, she has really one of the most mesmerizing and amazing uh, base attack stat, guys. That said and done, the next one is obviously going to be Berserk. Obviously, on a faster skill, she has that uh, two debuffs or two negative status effects that she can apply on the opponents. And so much, uh, like, um, stuff that she can do with all of her skills that Berserk really does allow her to rechannel or, let's say, reset her skills really fast to go into that cooldown really fast and then to channel our skills right away like boom 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 and so many uh, dots will be flying around uh, in no time the next one is going to be counter obviously her fast skill having like two negative status effect which is so unique you really cannot find a hero unit who actually does have two two negative status effect on their fast skill that is pretty insane that is pretty abnormal okay it is too much oh wow so counter set also really can really help her a lot a lot a lot guys a lot so that's said and done uh what sort of like uh primary stats should we really focus on for the second slot guys 
the primary stat should be like attack percentage boost if you really are trying to deal a massive amount of damage or you can go with the speed boost if you really want to focus more on the arena contents all right on the fourth slot obviously uh critical rate percentage boost if you really don't have enough critical rate uh, on your stats but you if you have already like managed to get a lot of critical rate boost from your uh, rune substats or through other various sort of ways then you can go with the critical damage boost all right so either critical rate or critical damage boost uh, <laughs> provided that like how much critical rate you have the next thing is going to be the sixth slot in this slot obviously no questions asked it's going to be a attack percentage boost but you can go with the hit percentage boost as well if you really do lack uh you know like like hit stats all right because the hit or let's say the accuracy really does allow you to land your poison debuff much easier okay she really excels on her debuffs or negative status effects uh application also and also her damage output, all right? So you really need to be good at both. But later on, you can really focus on the attack percentage boost because uh, the hit percentage boost can be really gathered from this substats itself. So really don't need to worry about that one, all right? So uh, speed or attack percentage boost in the second slot, crit rate percentage boost or critical damage boost on the fourth slot, and finally in the sixth slot, attack percentage boost or hit percentage boost on the sixth slot all right so that's how it goes on and for the substats it's so easy speed boost attack percentage boost critical rate boost critical damage boost and the hit percentage boost all right i say it again speed boost attack percentage boost critical rate boost critical damage boost and hit percentage boost if you guys still cannot follow please do check out in the description section below of this video to check out uh the extra information on this runes like i have really mentioned all of them in the uh, description section so you can always check that one out for the quicker access all right so this is pretty much it for today's i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and see you guys in the next video